Hi, Michael. Uh, my name is Oceana. I was speaking to Benjamin earlier on the phone, and he asked me to send this video to you because you're the person who should see it. Um, so the point of this video is to show you a couple things that you can change on your website to get uh, more jobs, basically by playing Google's game the way that Google likes to play it and getting your your website in front of people who are searching on Google for those phrases. Um, and there's just a few tricks that a lot of people don't know and they're very simple. Um, so I'm just going to show them to you. <laughs> so first thing I would say is um, I would suggest that you have a big click to call phone number up here because um, that's where people are often looking. I know you've got it right here and that's great. Um, but I would maybe add one as well up there. But that's a small time minor detail. Please forget I even said anything. Um, <laughs> so down here, um, the first real thing I want to point out is content. Oh my goodness, um, it's kind of hard to see that, isn't it? <laughs> um, so the first thing is content. How many words are on the page? And are they talking about what you do and where you do it? Those are the most important things you want to get across. Um, and then beyond that, you'd like to have lots of just lots of content about it because Google loves content. Um, it that's how it judges who knows what. And so um, if you have lots of information, you must know more about the subject and therefore be the most relevant person or business to show uh, in the case of a search. So you're definitely going to want to increase the amount of words on your home page. And then if I right click on an image and click save image as, this is a fun little spot here. I can see this image was saved as image 0591. Um, what you want to do is actually re-upload these images, but first you want to save them as specific phrases that people are actually typing into Google when they're looking for your services and they're in, the, your, in your service area. Um, that was a bit of a mouthful, uh, but I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Uh, first, I want to show you this um, Arifs. This is a tool that I use to get an in-depth look into how a website's performing. And it looks like you've already started to do some work on this and it's it's starting to improve. Um, but I just want to be, I want to give you a couple warnings because I see a couple things here that um, that are going a little bit awry. So first of all, your UR score is how trusted your or popular or powerful um, your um, page is. So in this case, it's your home page because that's the page that I put in here. And then your DR score is how trusted or powerful your entire website is. And you can see that your your page, your home page is a lot more powerful than your other pages. So this is an issue. This is going to cause problems when it comes to visibility. Google's not going to want to put you up as high in its search results if you don't have a well-rounded website. Um, so how you can make sure that this is well-rounded and you're going to want to increase this number, but you really want to increase this DR here. So how you're going to do that is by um, getting more referring domains, which you've got a good start on, but you want to have them also pointing to the other webs, uh, the other pages on your website. Um, and real quick, I want to take a look at the referring domains here and make sure you're getting good quality ones. Let's see. Oh, why is it taking so long to load? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so definitely be careful um, because you see all these ones that are like zeros and there are different blog spots here. This is a method that used to work a long time ago, um, just having lots of low quality um, blogs pointing to your site with no real um, authority. Um, that was a good way to boost your credibility with Google back then, but it doesn't work anymore. Google's changed its algorithm, and now this is actually harmful. So people are going through and actually trying to disavow these links that are that are a bunch of zeros. Um, so be careful as you go out. You want to get more links that are like this. Um, CleaningServiceReviewed.com. That's relevant to your industry. And it's got a decent DR score. Just as a reminder, DR is the domain rating. It's how trusted the entire website is, according to Google. Um, so this is a really good score. Anything above 20 is good. Um, and the higher, the better. And you want it to be something that's, um, that's relevant to you. So this is a really good one. This is not a very good one. So just be careful. I want you to, to, to know that going forward. Okay, and then over here, um, this is how I know that there's people looking for your services uh, on Google and that there's low competition. So I put in carpet and I cross-referenced that with Aurora Colorado. Um, and so now I've got 
anything that mentions Aurora, Colorado and Purpet in the same search. <laughs> so these are the different ways that people are looking for your service. They're typing this into Google, these different phrases. Um, and this is how many times a month they are um, searched for. So about 90 times a month, so, uh, or this exact phrase gets typed into Google about 90 times a month. This exact phrase gets typed in 50 times a month. And you can see how it really adds up. Every month there's quite a few people looking for carpet cleaning in that area. Um, like this one doesn't really count because it's for you know carpet exchanges. I think that's like a, a retail store <laughs> or something. But um, these ones, carpet cleaning, carpet cleaning services, these are all great. Um, and then this here, KD stands for keyword difficulty. It's basically how difficult would it be to get to the first page of Google for this word. And a five is a very good low score. So that means low competition. Okay, so now we put this word into Google and we want to see, um, I, I want to talk about how you can get up into this area as well as how to get into this area right here. Um, these are very important areas to be in, and those are the spots that get the most attention. Um, first of all, this is the map pack, and it's the top three local results from, the, from Google Maps. And how you get up into this spot here is making sure that your Google My Business listing is up to date and accurate, specifically your name, address, and phone number, because then you're going to take that information and plaster it all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages, um, etc. <laughs> there are lots of them to choose from. Um, and you can list your information, and that's going to count as a citation. And what that does is it basically um, it acts as a vote of confidence, telling Google, like, these guys are legitimate and they really do serve this area. And that'll help boost your results, um, pushing you toward the top of the page. And if you end up in the top three results of the maps, you get here on the um, the first page of Google, which is nice because then it'll drive a lot of traffic to your website and also people can call you directly from looking at this phone number here. Okay, next we'll talk about getting you into the organic results down here. These are the ones that are, um, this is the the winner right now, the number one result, um, and it is a local competitor. So if we look at their website, we can think, okay, what is it that they're doing right that they're sitting at the top of this Google uh, search search term and we're not? What can we do like them and what can we do better than them? <laughs> so um, I was kind of looking up and down, seeing what uh, how much content they have. They have quite a bit of content up and down their page, lots of words. So you're going to want to increase your words by quite a bit. And then another thing that they're doing right, I was checking it out earlier. If I right click on an image, click save image as, I can see that they, they're they saving their um, photos as key phrases or keywords. So you're going to want to do that too to stay ahead. And then um, if I put them into my Arabs and check out how they're doing, they've got a pretty good, pretty decent UR and DR scores, um, and they've got a lot of referring domains. However, it may look daunting with 104 referring domains, but if you look here, there are so many zeros. Look at all that. These are this blog spot things. Um, so you're definitely going to want to focus on getting some of these higher quality leads and um, I mean, higher quality leads. You are going to want higher quality leads. That's the point. Um, <laughs> but what you're going to want is um, high quality backlinks so that um, you can beat them out because uh, they've got all these low quality ones um, and they're just not, those aren't helping. So you won't need that many backlinks in order to um, basically be the more relevant, more credible website for Google. Um, here is my contact information. You're welcome to reach out to me. I would love to answer any questions that you have. Um, and also, uh, if you do want to see about working with me and my team on this, having an expert just take care of this for you, uh, we'd be open to having a little chat, talking about your business goals, and just seeing if it makes sense for us to work together. So um, no hassle, no pressure, just uh, talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Bye.